Alright, so what's up you guys? It's your girl Courtney and I am back with another video. We are back with another video. And today guys, we are doing a seafood boil, okay? With us uh, some king crab legs, okay? So I know y'all ready to see us eat. Y'all see what we working with. Okay, let's get into the video. Y'all seen us today, man, when we went to the store, man. We bought this, man. Y'all was with us today. We brought y'all along with us. Yes. Yeah. We excited. We got a brand new camera. Uh-huh. Trying to see what it do. I'm trying to see what it do, y'all. So, oh. Y'all can see we got some wide angles going on. Listen. Somebody else brought up another name for him, too. Oh, yeah, was they said, uh, Mr. Black. Mr. Black? Mr. Black. So, I, 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 I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to eat. I've been waiting mm -hmm. on this. I'm ready to eat. So, mm -hmm. I'm going to taste me a potato. I'm going to let you do the honors on this one. Uh-uh. I don't want that one. I want this yeah. one. Which one? This one. Okay. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Woo. So you use your bare hands. Me, myself, personally, I have never had a crab leg this big. Heck no. Y'all, we got these from Costco. Mm -hmm. So, B. Love said you break off this part. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's pokey. Oh, heck no. Ooh. What, babe? Kills okay. I think I got butter running down my face. I feel it. Um. All right. Anyway, yeah. So we went to Costco's and we got these. Uh. It was about. Mm, it was about forty something dollars. But we got a good amount for king crab. And they're real big. Look at that meat. Ooh. Ooh, wait, let me hand you the bottle. Yeah, hand me the butter, guys. Dip that in there. Dip it in there real good. Make sure you get me from this camera, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dip it real good. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm, that's good. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. I ain't take no Benadryl. I need to. <laughs> it's a crab crab. Mmm. But y'all, I'm gonna try me some lemon. Yeah, like I was saying, we got this from Costco. We're so excited to eat us some seafood. They said he can go for some seafood today, and you know I'm down, so. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Was that fresh lemon? Mmm. Mmm. It was so big, baby had to cook it in the oven. Yeah, I couldn't fit it in the pot. I had to put them in the oven, y'all. That's crazy. Y'all, we got us some corn, some potatoes, some lemon, some egg, some sausages that I don't know up in here. Some Cajun sausages. Mm-hmm. It tastes like you put. Mm-hmm. They okay. Mm-hmm. We try some new sausages, y'all. Um. Ooh, this is pokey. Babe. So, y'all. Uh. I got a subject I want to talk about. This for the grown people. Kids can watch too. It's not nothing nasty. But it's just adult conversation. I think. So. Can I say our friend of ours called and had a question? Is you okay with talking about that? Mm -hmm. Or. So. Uh. One of our friends called, my husband, and uh, they were talking, 
and um he just brought up a uh a, a conversation that i want to talk about or made me think of a conversation i want to talk about so let me ask y'all something Mm, is that done? What? When is... Now I see what she's talking about, that fat meat stuff. When do y'all think it's the right time for you to get married? Like... What is a what is the time? Do y'all put a time frame on it, or or what? When do you think is the best time for people to get married, back? Absolutely, positively, the only time you should get married is when you both are ready. When you both are ready. Not when you ready. Not when you ready. And the other person Not is when not. your mama ready. Not when your auntie ready. When you ready. When you are when ready. When you are both ready. When you both are ready. And that's mentally, uh, through Christ, if you believe in God, um, So here's our thing. A lot of people, what you say? I, me and my husband been together twelve years. Mm -hmm. We have not been married those whole twelve years, but throughout those twelve years, we got married at ten years. How many times were you asked when y'all get married? Man, we was asking that. Can ask that the first year. The first year. Let me tell y'all why we didn't get married so soon. For one, I don't think we were ready. Because me and my husband got together fairly young. Mm -hmm. Straight out of high school. And we had to learn life, right? Yeah. Of course we knew that we want to be together forever. Mm. I we knew that in the very beginning. Mm -hmm. But we had an experienced life. And that's not in the sense of oh my god, I gotta go mess around with somebody else and, and stuff like that, but just you're fresh out of high school. You gotta learn how to now adapt to get having a job, dealing with having to deal with a job, pay your own bills, mm -hmm. um, how to deal with certain situations, staying out of trouble. You know, because at this age, you, you, at that age, you're learning how to stay out of trouble, not how to not be so naive to what other people are telling you, and mm -hmm. um, just growth within within yourself. So if you are learning all of those things, you know, off the top there, you have to learn your partner, your significant other. You have to learn your significant other. Like uh, they good, they bad, they mm -hmm. ugly. You want to experience it all because the crazy. The crazy. Yeah, you want to know? Can you handle that crazy? <laughs> How crazy can this person get? Because I also too don't like when other people um try to stop love. You know, like it, it, I, I'm not necessarily saying that you have to learn your partner so fast. Like like people that get married like on the first um, month within meeting each other. Hey, love at first sight. I mean. Things happen. Who's who's to um judge your love, you know? Yeah. I say everybody got their own story. 
Everybody got their own story. Everybody is different in their own way. And everybody's different in their own way. So stop trying to rush marriage on people. Because it's not it's not to say that our marriage wouldn't have we've been together twelve years. It's not to say that our marriage wouldn't have lasted longer if we got together earlier. Mm -hmm. But I'm glad we got married after because we endured a lot of things in those 12 years. Mm -hmm. And I would not want to go under oath something I vowed to not only my husband mm -hmm. but to God and, and, and mess up and make make mistakes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I need to be mentally, physically, emotionally ready mm -hmm. to say I'm going to invest the rest of my life with this person. So all you aunties, uncles and cousins, stop asking them people when they going to get married. Let them folks get married when they ready. Because as mm -hmm. soon as they get married and they, and they, and they go to shambles Y'all should have never got married. Like, make your man up. What you want? Mm-hmm. And knowing them, they on their third marriage. They on their third marriage. <laughs> they ain't never been married. They ain't got a successful marriage. They, uh, they wife or they husband out here got two side pieces. Mm-hmm. And they trying to tell you what you need to be in. Listen. Don't tell me how to run my relationship. And um, also too, don't ever be influenced. Do stuff because of somebody else. Mm -hmm. Or if you got a friend or so, they married, and you thinking like, hey, you know, I, I should get married because my friend married her. Mm-hmm. I had a lot. Of, I mean, I'm from down south. Y'all got butt all over my face. I'm from down south. I'm a southern girl, so of course when you when let everybody that you know, let's run the truth. When you from when you southern, everybody expect for you to be married. Mm -hmm. They they think that that's a sign of success, like marriage, you know. And not to say that it's not, but that don't define everything that I am. So. Yeah, y'all. I'm just saying, when do it in the right time when y'all are ready. Mm -hmm. Wait, I'm gonna say 14. Mm hmm. Damn, I didn't even pick this thing. It normally stops about 14. Just listen for the sound. Ain't gonna make no sound. Okay, is these crab laces? They uh kitchen seals or so. I'm not sure. Mm. But yeah, but what I meant by that is don't be influenced by other people, you know, to do things. Make sure it's what you really want. Right. Just because my partner got married don't mean that I'm ready to be married. Yes, it's inspiring. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm proud of them. I'm glad for their happiness and their story that they, they're, they're not developing for themselves. But their story is not my story. I'm not about to go hop into no marriage because my partner done got married. Mm-hmm. And then never get advice from people who who don't have a successful marriage mm -hmm. or relationship. Mm -hmm. That's what a lot of people mess up. Mm -hmm. Is ask yourself, the person you getting advice from, are they happy? Have they had a successful marriage? People feel like, oh, since I've been married before, I should give advice. I'm now divorced, but I should give advice. That would come out. Right, what qualifies you to give good advice when you're not successful in anything? Yeah. 
That's why most married people solicit advice and stuff from their pastor. And all, and you can't always take advice from your pastor. Because cause these pastors nowadays, or what's that man's name? Pastor, uh... Mm -hmm. What's that pastor's name? Y'all know who I'm talking about. Pastor nowadays is having relations with the girls in their church and it's now on www. Uh, uh, com. <laughs> what was that pastor name? I don't know. But, so y'all just go go to God, pray about it, develop yourself, find yourself. How you gonna get in a relationship and vow to be with somebody else and you ain't found yourself? Found yourself, you ain't found yourself. You don't know what you are, what you want. What is your wants? What is your needs? What will you put up with? What you what will you not put up with? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Find those things and pray for those things. Cause believe it or not, before I found before my husband came into my life, I prayed for him. Uh I did. I pray for the things that I did. I didn't know he was, you know, I can't say I, I mean, I knew that he was going to be my boyfriend one day. And that was just a sign from God. But I didn't know that this was going to be my husband. But what I did, I did pray for, I don't want this in this person. I don't want that in this person. I want to genuinely be myself and somebody love me for me. And and I don't have to change for them, you know, and deal with my, my flaws and my craziness. You know what I'm saying? 